Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. And in today's video, we are going to cover everything regarding uh, Microsoft AZ-900 exam. That is the fundamental exam. And uh, we will try to cover right from the beginning how you can clear this exam in one weekend and how what was my strategy and how I used to prepare. Okay, so uh, without wasting any time, let's start. So this is the like main exam guide. And uh, like from here, you can uh, schedule uh, your exam and in uh, like I will provide this link into the description box and here only uh, you will be provided with each and every information regarding the exam so first of all uh, try to like open this exam guide so like you have two options either uh, you can prepare a uh, free this uh, like uh, these are certain modules learning path which you have to cover and after that it will be very easy for you to clear the exam okay and the second option is instructor uh, led that is paid so i don't recommend uh, you go with the instructor one uh, this is more than enough to clear the exam okay and after that uh, the first thing which you have to do is to download the exam guide okay the syllabus so I have like uh, downloaded this. I will also provide the link and uh, here they will provide you each and everything regarding the syllabus and uh, on what domains you will be tested and uh, what are the skills that will be measured. Okay, so here as you can see that uh, this cloud concepts is almost 30% uh, and architecture and services. Uh, this, this is the highest percentage and after that uh, cloud like Azure management and governance. Okay, so let's uh, try to cover each and everything one by one. And uh, yeah, this is this is my notes, which uh, I can provide to you in the end. And let's open the word. Okay, so before starting the exam, like uh, who is the audience and is there any prerequisite for you too? So I don't think uh, there is any prerequisite uh, those who are in like third or fourth year of engineering they can also like uh, appear in this exam and clear it it will be beneficial for them okay for their resume and second are the sales and management guy okay so like uh, there are certain tools in azure like certain reporting tools and uh, power bi reports and everything so uh, it has uh, like a great integration so this uh, course will be very uh, beneficial for them if they start and the third one is the like IT guys engineering guys those who are in engineering it's I will say a mandatory for them because it will uh, increase the weightage of your resume plus the thing is that nowadays we are moving towards the CICD pipeline so Azure provides that now Azure boards okay azure uh, everything so these are the things uh, which are uh, like step by step moving towards uh, azure so it's very high time for you to start learning azure okay and this is the very basic like the uh, one star exam and this is azure fundamentals exam so this will give you the confidence to just start your journey okay now let us see that what is the time required so if you have like I already have uh, the cloud experience as I am uh, AWS certified solution architect associate. So it took me almost uh, like eight to 10 hours to prepare uh, the syllabus, like just to like the concept are same, but the naming conventions are different and uh, like little tiny uh, differences. So that you have to cover, at least you have to go through the syllabus once. Okay, the cost of the exam, if we see is around $99. But for us, like in India, let's see, I think it is uh, somewhere around 4,000 rupees. Mm, yeah, 3696, almost 3700 plus GST you have to pay. Okay, so this is around 4K. But in the end, uh, I'll tell you that how you can take this exam free of cost. And uh, this is, I have uh, taken this exam at no cost, no cost, and uh, I will uh, like, there is also a video which I have made so you can click on this I button and uh, view the video okay and in the end like I'll also repeat it so no no worry about that the exam timings are around 60 minutes of actual time and uh, like you 
I will prefer you to join the exam 30 minutes before so that they can do your verification plus they see your backgrounds and everything. Okay, that we can cover in some different video that whether you should take the exam at home or at the center. I'm more um, like I have more preference toward the center because of couple of reasons that we can discuss in some other video. Now coming to the syllabus, this is the most important part. It uh, like the whole syllabus is divided into three modules. So let us try to cover one by one, uh, like in the first module. So uh, let me close these tabs and open it again. So in first module, you have four sub parts, three sub parts actually. And each one of it, like if you just read it, so you can yourself calculate that uh, 23 minutes, 17 minutes and 12 minutes. So almost in one hour, your first module will be completed. And in the first module, uh, like this is the basic uh, cloud computing how like the deployment models why you actually you need cloud okay benefits of uh, using cloud services that's like makes sense to each and every one of you that is like uh, just go through it once and you will understand that it's not that much stuff plus at the end of each and every module they have provided uh, like a quiz kind of thing so you can test your knowledge that how much uh, have you understood and uh, whether uh, you're like you are able to proceed to the next um, stage or not and they also provide this xp kind of thing i'm not sure what it is about but it is what it is okay so in the first um, uh, this is the first module yeah cloud services so these are the sub parts you just uh, go through each and every one of them and at the end there is a knowledge check and summary okay now uh, one thing which uh, I would like to tell you that uh, how I used to prepare is that let's say uh, this is the crime, uh, Azure architecture one. Okay, if I have opened this module and this like uh, this part and in this module, this is the 2.1 module. Okay, so in the beginning, I will see that what all is expected. What are the learning objectives? Just uh, wrote it down um, in doc or on your copy. So these are my notes which I have made. So I just uh, noted down and after that, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Now covering each and every part after like uh, I am covered with uh, this sub part. So in the end, I will go again to the objective and see that whether I have understood like whether I am able to tell what uh, are Azure regions, what is a region pair, what are sovereign regions, what is an AZ. Okay, so that way like you are 100% sure that uh, you are going to pass this exam. This is one of the tip uh, which I personally used to follow and like it worked for me. Okay, now coming to our word document. So we have uh, covered the syllabus again, like uh, telling that uh, if you have little bit of cloud experience. Okay, so let me take a red pen. It will take you eight to 10 hours. Otherwise, if you have like general uh, concepts of cloud or uh, like you are two to five years of experience plus like endless. So like if you are in IT, that's what I mean to say that if you are currently working in IT, it will take you hardly two days to cover each and everything. And on the third day, you can schedule your exam. So that's our four point, uh, fourth point that uh, don't uh, delay the scheduling the exam because if you think that uh, you are going to schedule only when you are 100% prepared. So that is a myth, my friend, that you are you are never going to be 100% prepared. That's for sure. So just give the exam when you are 80 to 90% sure that um, you understand 80 to 90% of the things and that way like uh, you will not waste your time. Otherwise, like if you if you will move towards perfection, then like uh, I'm sure like you are not going to schedule the exam even after one month also. So like what will be the ideal approach is that prepare for two days. So let's say right like prepare for Saturday and Sunday and uh, schedule your exam either on Wednesday or on next Sunday so that in this uh, like I am assuming that you have an office and apart uh, from that office work, uh, you can take out that th 30 minutes or one hour daily to just uh, go through it or revise your concepts. That's more than enough. I'm, I can guarantee you 100% that uh, you are going to pass this exam 100% if you can follow this approach. Just start uh, your journey on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, these two days because in two days you have to cover the syllabus. After that, schedule your exam either on Wednesday or on Sunday. That's it. Okay, so uh, AW, like uh, I'm 
like i am aws certified so always say aws but azure also provide us uh, like microsoft provide us uh, azure mock test these are also available i will provide you the link and if we can like have a look yeah these uh, are the this like these are the knowledge check in between the modules but i think they have this uh, uh, where are training and like i forgot where is the link uh, for that <coughs> mock test but i'm sure like they provide mock test also so like if i get the link i will provide in the description box after that uh, i have already told you that how to like take this exam at the no cost i'm sure you have seen that video otherwise like you can go to the microsoft uh, virtual training days and there uh, we have to select azure okay and we have to attend a azure uh, training so, uh, like fundamental training so azure fundamental events are coming soon so i hope they will be uh, coming very soon and as soon as they came i will uh, provide that link on my channel so if you want to get that uh, video so just hit that subscribe button that will like also motivate me and it will give you a notification also whenever the exam come so i'll surely try to uh, like upload it in my channel that's it guys i hope i have covered each and everything and one more thing remaining reg uh, regarding uh, how to take the exam what all things that you need and should you take the exam at home on center uh, so that video will be coming very soon so i hope i have covered each and every doubt but still if you want uh, like if you have any doubt just comment down below or uh, like schedule a meeting with me over top mate so we can connect uh, over there also so that's it guys i hope uh, like i was able to help you that's it thanks for your time bye